Yo, what's up, YouTube? We are back, and today, the series is coming back. The series you guys liked last time, we already ranked the top 10 starting pitchers in this game. The top 10 series is back for part two. Catchers. The pitchers, they throw to the catchers. Who are the top 10 in the game? We're ranking them on how good they play, user ability. You want to be the worst player in the game playing with this guy, and he's going yard every time. Talking about stats, attributes, number two. Talking about price. I don't want to have to chop off my arm to pay for these guys. Those are the factors we're playing in right here. And again, we're also going to factor in. Some guys might only be going on All-Star. While some guys, if you're on Hall of Fame, some of these guys might be able to play a little bit better than some others. Look at this. Look at the vision stats, dude. The catchers have no vision. You're swinging a cheese stick on Hall of Fame. Now let's get into the top 10 right now. Coming out with number 10. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. And let's get into it. Number 10. Mike Napoli, man, I think for the starting pitchers, we had the lowest overall was a 98. Couple 97s coming in a catcher. Not, there's, there's definitely isn't 10 99 overall catchers in this game right now. Coming in at number 10 is Mike Napoli. Stats for hitting are insane. He's got, he, he can hit up there with the best of them. 78 vision, Hall of Fame, dude, I, I, good luck. I don't know, I don't know if he can get it done on Hall of Fame, but the max clutch, that's good. You can look at my hitting stats, not too many at bats, Hitting 500 on ranked. I mean, he's solid. He's a solid catcher coming in at number 10. Uh, ignore the entire right side of the screen. Pretend it's not there. Cover your right eye. Do what you have to do. Uh, but number 10 is Mike Napoli. Next up, number 9, Yasmani Grandal. He's always got a nice smooth swing. He's a BR god. Switch hitter. Do not look at the speed. He carries a refrigerator under his shirt. There's a there's like there's weights. He's got dumbbells in each of his cleats. 10 speed, oh no. He also has diamond defense, but I mean, his arm isn't that great. Uh, Diamond-ish defense, let's call it. And then diamond-ish hitting against lefties will be pretty solid. Solid vision. Uh, overall, not the best card in the game, uh, but he's coming in at number nine. Lack of cards, I'm saying. Number eight, Salvi Salvador Perez. He's here against lefties. Against lefties, he's definitely here. This card, I don't even know if I've used him that much, but all I know is when I face him, I'll face him like right now, and I'll be using Randy Johnson, and he'll end up going two for four. So a lot of these, a lot of people have been using Salvador Perez this year. He has like four different cards in the game right now, all for Salvador Perez. So he might as well go Salvador Perez the show 23. Uh, but Salvi coming in at number eight. Solid hitting stats, okay defense, overall not the best. Now we get into some guys that can actually play and help your team. We're going over to programs for the first time. April Monthly Awards, who's it gonna be? Who is it gonna be? Mr. Jonah Heim, another 97. This is going to be the last 97 of the video. Hitting stats, really good. This is a better version of, Yas of Yasmani Grandal. 42 speed, I mean, he took out one of the dumbbells that Grandal has in one of his cleats. 95 fielding, 90 arm. I mean, I don't want to see a single guy stealing a base if I'm using Jonah Heim. 125 clutch. That's really good versus righties because you can see his righty contact is 85. Not the best. So if you have a guy on first base and Heim's up, I want to consider stealing. Get that clutch to 125. 125 contact replaces the 85. Max contact versus left is insane. Always have, he'll always have max contact versus left no matter who's on base. And the power is usable. The vision is solid. I like this car a lot. He plays very well. You can see I've actually used him a little bit in some event games, and I'm hitting pretty well with him. So user-friendly card right there, which puts him at 10, 9, 8, 7. Jonah Heim, seventh best catcher in the game right now. And now we get into some of the tanks. You know what time it is. Time to go to the community market. Where are the tanks at? <gasps> nope. Coming in at number six. We got a guy called Gary Carter. I'm not a big fan of his swing, man. I think his swing's a little bit too long. His stance is pretty weird, but the defense doesn't lie. He actually has diamond defense, unlike the last guy we looked at. Uh, not Heim, but the guy before him. I think it was the guy before him. Uh, Diamondish defense, whatever I called it. But he'll actually be solid behind the plate. He'll be nice. Now, the hitting against righties, it's not great. 89 clutch. 89? Isn't he in the Hall of Fame? I mean, this is pretty weird right here. Uh, not the best card, not my favorite card by sure. That's why he's going to be the least high of the 99 overall is coming in right here. And he's going to be a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Sixth best card catcher, Gary Carter. Number five, we're in the top five. 
Now, <laughs> this could make some people mad, because I know a lot of people like this guy. Ivan Rodriguez. Now, this is a guy that does have a smooth swing this year. You see the max power, you're salivating, max power, that's nasty. 112 clutch to get that contact up when he's running around base. The defense is solid, he'll be able to compete back there, and he plays pretty well. Coming in at number five, just because I think some of the other stats coming up later are better at a cheaper price. This is the first time price might factor in. I'm talking about 90K by now for Ivan Rodriguez. We're putting him at number five. Number four, Francisco Alvarez. Another guy right here, you compare the pie charts, they're very similar. I like Alvarez just a little bit more for the, to make the top four. I like his contact versus left. Look at his contact. You compare the, the, the power stats, he loses a little bit of power, but he gains in the other stat right there. Um, so uh, Alvarez and, and Pudge, they're right there, back to back. He's got really good discipline, really good clutch, 114 clutch, good contact versus left, solid contact versus right, and diamond defense. Putting him at number four, they might as well be tied. Now number three, cheaper price, pie chart, everything's full, 99 arm. The ball teleports to second base when someone's stealing. Really good contact, good power versus right, solid power versus left, good vision, good clutch. Overall, he's a solid card. He might not be as good as Alvarez and, Rod and Rodriguez, but overall, I feel like he's a solid Hall of Fame catcher. On Hall of Fame, JT has a chance to compete. He has a smooth swing, and he gets pretty lucky on the jam animations. Um, so I like him coming in number three. Now the top two are guys that, these top two, they're, just, they're so much better than the other top two. I mean, or than, than, um, than, the, than the bottom eight. These top two, I mean, these are the actual catchers you want to use. Number, number two, Jorge Posada. Switch hitting card, insane swing, good defense. The contact's there, the power's there. The clutch, 95, pretty weird. But I mean, mm -mm. I, I mean, this is a smooth swing guy right here. Like I said, when the Griffey pack came out in BR, I said consider taking Posada over Griffey, and that's why he's coming in at number two. Number one, a guy that I spent 370K stubs on, and his price got cut in half, is Joe Maurer. Now, don't look at the stats, dude. This guy actually plays well. I've been using him a lot in co-op. Insane defense, 99 fielding, 97 arm, 99 blocking, better not be one pass ball. Max contact, max clutch, power's there for both sides. Joe Maurer is the number one guy by far. All right, boys, that's the ranking. What did I get right? What did I get wrong? Who am I missing? I know I'm missing someone. Comment down below. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. What position do you want to see next? Thanks for watching, boys. Let's go.